Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Chandra Awesome. Uh, in this today's video, I am going to show you how I achieve the chain drive animation in Onset Cat Software. And basically, guys, uh, we do not have any uh, any direct relation to perform this chain drive animation in any Cat Software. But you can achieve this by using the uh, available mate connectors and the relations inside it for now let me show you the demonstration how does it works for working for me i'm just going to remove this uh, animate this one and show you how does it works it takes time because of uh, i use many uh, uh, you can see the demonstration of my chain uh, drive transmission this assembly uh, here I have many chain drives. This is my own tab chain pockets, and I use the gears just for making you show the uh, animation how it is working. Actually, guys, uh, uh, it is almost real, more realistic uh, animation, but it working with the many mates as you can see in the. In the instances part you can see there are many mates inside in the mate connectors that's what there is that's what is difficult for this uh, to achieve this process but anyway I'm going to show you how to work with it in the onset cut software for now uh, okay let's jump into the tutorial guys I am here I'm going to work with this already designed one guys okay uh, let me show you another demonstration of my assembly here here you can see I just created a, a another some electrical part like this is also a perform work perform for the chain drive animation let me show you how does it work for here uh, this one I need to rotate this one and animate it. If you clearly observe it, you can clearly understand how it is actually working here. You can see there is a single bar here, and this just assume as these are the sprockets, and it is uh, connected with this some uh, uh, tubes like here. And this is tube is following the edge of this extrude electrical part. Then. If, if you really understand how this is working then you can make the chain animation easily in concept cat software so let me teach you how does it work let me explain this how does it working okay let me it is first of all guys when you want to perform this type of animations you must know and familiar with the tangent mate well not only tangent mate all the mate connectors are very important and also relations you must know and when you work with the relations you must know the minimum calculation to how does the animation here works okay and the most important aspect to achieve this was uh, tangent mate guys it is really may playing a crucial role in it so uh, understanding the working of tangent mate is somewhat difficult because uh, I'm also not aware of that. It works on depends on nature. It works on sometimes. Sometimes it crashes. Sometimes it works. I don't know why it is uh, working with like that. But uh, it, it actually works for what I what we are going to achieve now. Okay. And the tangent mate is uh, when you perform with the tangent mate, it can only uh, perform. Uh, for a single part let me start the tutorial i already show you i'm going to show you this the same uh, assembly how does it works i'm going to same part what i use it here In the first two or three you can see i just created some ports an electrical port and a pocket type rectangle and a cylinder okay let me let's come to the new assembly and import the parts what we have used there click on insert 
and set the part studio 3 and what we will need is just change pocket one and this is two bars and the cylinder and the base electrical and click on ok now click on the base and now you can see the parts now what do we need is the chain should follow the path of the both sprockets of front sprocket and rail sprocket first one and second one okay here we are not working with the sprockets the, the major uh, achievement for this is i am just for showing the animation you cannot perform the exact uh, uh, calculations or mechanism of chain drive here not in any other case of production not possible except working with the keyframes in any case of thing okay let's let's going to fix this part because we don't need to move it let's just move this part because we important product i think we have another ball right let me fix it let's move from here and now fix the part now the base is fixed and we need to work with the tangent mate the tangent mate works with both faces and also as well as the hsc is asking face edge or vertex so well, but depending on upon the selection it will work so you can understand let me show you the the, the basic approach what i did first here i'm setting this part and the circular edge and this edge and when i clicking on them you can see it is not showing it's showing an overridden red color uh, indication because it's not going to work let me turn your application see it's not at all working i don't even know why sometimes the tangent makes works like that let me drag near to it and now do the same operation again click on this edge click on this edge it's not working why it's not working because means it is a single part okay and yeah and the edge to edge is not working let's work with edge to face then it will work but there is a drawback is it will move front and this direction and in this way of animation you cannot achieve the uh, chain of animation for that you need to work with this single part which can move only this through edge that's why i use the extra cylinder here now i'm going to uh sell the tangent mate again first of all we need when you performing the tangent mate it will rot it the uh, whole edge will move on the corresponding edge of another part <coughs> responsive edge okay for that uh, we don't want to move the other direction let me show you for example i am selecting this edge and selecting it there. now this will work same time this works but it is not working why it is not working because uh, because of some overreading i also don't know the reason the most like this sometimes it will not show the error in the onshore patch software tangent did not generate properly fail to solve this type of error message will show to perform that as i mentioned here we need to select the face so when i click on sell, sell the face it comes into that but uh, when i want to move it it's not moving and it move in other uh, move front and back and it can also move it won't move in other direction sometimes see it's not actually moving in this type of will make the frustration for that you must follow this approach to achieve this animation okay first of all we need to use the plan mate the planar mate is going to make sure the part is only moving 
on a particular plane. So when I so it will move fully in, in the plane itself. At the same time, I want to follow this path also. In that way only this will work. That's why I use the planar paint brush and I'm going to use the tangent plane map. Select the edge and select the face and click OK. Now you see it only follows the path and it will revolve along the path inside. See now it's moving. Before performing the planar make is not working. But now it is working because planner make is making flexible this part to move in the plane and this tangent made making flexible making this part only move in this uh, in this region itself. So for that we need to work with that. Okay. And now you can do this uh, connect this part by using revolute make because this actually cylinder is rotating in the edge. If you perform a uh, fixed fashion made, you can't get the animation perfectly. So for now, I am just show you the I'm just fixing the fashion made. Now you can see if, if I going to rotate this, see the cylinder is actually working, rotating. So, if you want to perform the strain transmission, if it will rotate like this with the fixation made, the animation will not perform and it will show again error. Okay, for that, you do not use the first made. You need to use the volume made. So, it is flexible to move for both this cylinder as well as this sprocket. I am going to sell the revolute made and done. So, I can now move this and the part will go not move will not move and it will it will move the flexible see the only cylinder is rotating but the part is in same position and the same again you need to work with that because only with the one connection is not possible to make the chain right even you can see the chain has two ends to connect so this is also we need so we need to do the same thing again this cylinder operation just sell the part copy it and paste somewhere now perform the same operation same made connectors to the cylinder also sell the planner made sell the edge and sell this part and fix it now apply the tangent materials Sell this edge and this face, and now okay. It is on some other two edge. You don't worry, you can move it freely, right? Okay, so just fully make it now. Connect with using revolution made again. Okay, okay, now it comes to the position. Now we successfully add the sprockets and it it will only follow the path. See, it is actually following the whole elliptical path itself and it's not crossing it and it is moving very freely. So and at the same time for the tangent made we do not have any uh, animation. You can see when I click on the tangent made it will not show any time animation operation. It will only works with the only uh, with the only this mid connector. See, the tangent mid is separated from this mid connectors and this and other tools. So, if you want to make it rotate by animating, you need to perform another operation. For that, we are going to use this uh, bars. So, first of all. We need to know is we need to connect these two parts should move flexibly to front and back like this it should move flexible to front and because we are going to use the center of an ellipse for the ellipse the circumference is not equal in all sides so for that you can only need to use we need to make it flexible to move and back so for that 
we have a cylindrical mate apply the cylindrical mate to the edges centimeter one and centimeter one and click ok now you send the one part and move it back now see it will move along with this uh, frontal max flexibly and it is directly connected to this part and it will not uh, move in any other plane it will move only in the one direction like a, how does the cylinder box okay so now we are going to fix this bus to the center of this ellipse by using the not valve mate by using cylindrical mate why i am using cylindrical mate is for safety purpose you can also use the revolute mate but sometimes we are not make sure how much uh, where this the part is moving front and back that's why i am using this cylindrical mate connector here so i so it will rotate you can freely rotate this part but still this the change pocket is not moving for that you need to connect this part to this part either of the cylinder of the port or either of the cylinder so for that also and it should be freely moving that's for uh, for an example if you if you take any fidget spinner it have a bearing inside it so if you want to move one thing freely uh, one should be able to fit and it should also rotate like this only uh, approach here we are working with here so i am going to use the cylindrical part again again for the safety purpose you can even you can use the revolving mate but i want to do work with cylindrical mate so it can move flexibly for up and down also see it's actually possible or else if you don't want you can shift back to revolute mate Yes, control Z it and from this point done. Now we successfully connected the parts. Now what we are going to do is we need to check whether the animation is working for here. So let me tell the come to animate the cylindrical mate. We need to select the revolve direction along the direction and click on play now it is working see this rectangle pocket is following the path automatically along this elliptical edge face in this way approach only i, I perform the chain animation but you can might get the doubt how do you can go in freely you didn't use any path it's nothing much like that guys i just hidden the path to make you uh, get good vis good visibility for viewers let me show you how this works i am going to show i hidden this part i don't want to hidden because it should be like this and i don't want this hidden part this part because it should move freely right so i am going to hide them now i am going to perform this simple animation now see even it's working even the bars are not visible it's working how does it working because i hidden the path that's the trick i use here to make you trust it is actually working so i am saying again at the last this is for only for the animation purpose guys but it will not work as a it will not follow the any mechanical principles because it's not possible in any cast software but in solar works in some other cast software it might work i don't know but according to the concept what i know is this is the only approach to perform this animation so uh, you can think that we are working with only one sprocket if you want to work with the other sprockets you need to connect as many sprockets as like this i done here see i had a, had a sprockets and i perform the every mate connector to the every part see i have literally have 123 make use of 123 make connectors 
of uh, achieving this one. And if I come to the main assembly, what I did here, it is you can see it is actually having 135 main connectors. Here also I use the same approach, but I use a particular design to make the animation looks good and also impressed by the viewers. That is the tutorial guys of today's topic how I achieved the chain drive animation in offset cat software. If you really like this approach, if you really like this content or tricks in our channel, please do like, share and subscribe our channel guys. It is really helpful for you and this is the only approach which I in the end you can't find this approach in any other channels of course. I am only the one who shared this one, even though some are assumed this but not going to share with you. But I want to share with you because one of our subscribers asked how to achieve this. So I think you might impress of my explanation, how is it working, how to work with the mates and you can also perform any animations in the cat software guys, just you are very well aware of about made connectors to get softwares that's all about today's topic guys again i'm requesting you to please do like share and subscribe the channel guys because i'm trying as much as i heart to make you teach this type of tricks and and with the cat softwares uh, that's all about today uh, and thanks for watching. Have a nice day.